Hi everybody. The Chevrolet Blazer is getting a new look for 2023, after being on the market for a few years. It has a leaner nose, windswept front grille, and squinty headlights that are slightly, well, more squinty. The Blazer has also received significant updates, including a 10-inch touchscreen that is standard on all models. Since its introduction in 2019, the most recent Blazer generation has established a commendable reputation, and these enhancements aim to maintain that status for at least a few more years. How do you drive the Blazer? The Blazer is distinguished by its rapid acceleration and precise handling. We tested a Blazer with a V6 engine that went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.6 .6 seconds. That is quicker than the Honda Passport and the Ford Edge, both of which have turbocharged four-cylinder engines, which is better for this kind of vehicle. The body roll of the Blazer is well controlled and agile during turns. But not everything is perfect. The majority of the Blazer sporting pretensions are quashed by its sluggish and heavy steering and rampant torque steer, an undesirable quality in which the steering wheel tugs in your hands when you press the gas. Find bargains on a used Blazer near you. How about the interior? Although the Blazer sloping roofline restricts rear headroom for passengers over 6 feet, getting in and out of the cabin is simple. Additionally, there is only enough shoulder room for two people to sit comfortably across the back. There is more room in the front and a wide range of seat and steering wheel adjustments to accommodate drivers of all sizes. When the controls are placed, there are still problems. Some knobs and buttons are arranged in an awkward way and marked in a cryptic way. The Blazer's exterior visibility suffers, particularly when looking over your shoulder and to the rear, like that of the Camaro Sport Coupe, which shares styling cues. Purchasing a Blazer with the available blind spot warning system is our recommendation. How is technology? Graphics on the Blazer touchscreen are clear and simple to use. Smartphone connectivity via Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is also included, but the native interface is adequate on its own. Although not quite high-end, the Bose audio system that is available is adequate. The sound is good in the mid-range, but you can't turn the system too loud before distortion starts to happen. Regarding the voice commands, they necessitate a fairly rigid syntax, and they frequently prompt you to repeat conversational speech. The advanced driver aids on the Blazer work well. Mileage How's the mileage? Our front-wheel drive test Blazer V6 got 19.5 mpg over about 1,245 miles. That is a little off from the EPA's estimate of 22 mpg when driving in both the city and the country. However, the Blazer performed as expected on our official mixed driving evaluation route, achieving 21.1 mpg. Is the Blazer worth the money? With a wonderful however plain inside, more modest freight limit than rivals, normal driving execution, and class normal estimating, the overcoat offers sketchy worth comparative with other medium size SUVs. With the sole exception of crisper cornering, which is not high on our list of SUV needs, it does not perform much better than the others. However, the warranty is legitimate. The Blazer, like most of its rivals, has a 3 year, 36,000 mile basic warranty and a 5 year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty.
Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.